Boys and girls, it is almost time to transform the aesthetic and the functionality of the RB25 in the Stadia. But before we bake this cake, there's a few more ingredients we need. Like everybody else in the world, every freaking person working on a car, it seems like it's always waiting on parts. Sometimes you don't really pick up on it on like the bigger YouTubers because they have multiple projects going on at a time. They're constantly ordering parts so they can kind of jump around from project to project. But having only one project car is proving extremely frustrating when it's constant wait for parts and you just can't move forward. You really can't do anything but sit, think, order more parts. Yeah, and even when those parts come in and the tyranny of time is overcome it seems to be weather because like i said we're working on this car outside and weather doesn't always agree and now here we are in december guys it's been snowing a lot fortunately today we have a break in the weather it is gorgeous i want to do a couple things with you really just kind of a little bit of a catch-up video a status update and talk about the way forward because like i said we want to bake a cake but we're missing like the eggs and the sugar like just a couple other little small ingredients that don't seem significant, but you can't bake a cake without it. Fortunately, one of the major parts we've been waiting on for about a year, and, and they've been here for a while, so don't get me wrong. When they arrived, I did an unboxing video. I'm gonna roll that clip now, so let's go back to that. Hopefully, you're as excited as I am. This clip is gonna be a little bit out of sequence, and I am probably slightly disheveled. Uh, right now, it's currently now, but when you see this, this will have been the past, which will, won't be until the future when it is the past, but it's now now. I actually just got done spending the entire morning doing a pretty cool activity as a family went to a vineyard and picked grapes off the vine to help them later produce wine. In return, we got a free lunch and just an experience and that was pretty cool. Last night, this box came in and this big old box are the new RB26 valve covers for the Stagia. It's exciting. I'm so excited. I wanted to open these last night, but I knew the lightning wouldn't be great. So without any further ado, man, let's open this box. From what I understand, you could have probably shipped a baby in here and it would have been totally fine. Obviously not legal, but it would have been, it would have been fine. It would it, have survived. All right. Oh man, I have uh, no idea. He sent me onesie twosie pictures. Really, it's like I want to take a quick glance and then I toss them out because I don't want to see them. I'm assuming this is the front front, so that's cool. Feels like hardware and probably original baffles, which we don't need because we have our mines replicas. Oh baby. Okay, let me get... Let me get adjusted. Hold on. I'm like legitimately sore. Here we go. Here we go. Lots of, man, lots of wrapping. I like lots of wrapping. This is good. I see, I see the things. Okay, taking out the top. Come on. Ah. All right, be very careful. This is wrapped really well. Money well spent, man. Yo. It's just, it's wild. Very blue underneath. Oh, it just depends on the light. This color is technically illusion blue, uh, made by prismatic powders. There on camera, it looks very blue. To me, it looks very purple. Let me tell you why I chose this color. One, I wanted to go with something kind of blue. Two, if you remember when we bought the stage here, right? How there was those weird purple accents everywhere. There was like purple in the wheels and there was purple in the, the felt, velvety felt trim stuff. And I thought, you know what? That's how the car came. Like, let's embrace it. Like, let's embrace the purple. Just as we did with the Z down the road, this is going to be, the, we're gonna do the brakes in the same color, the brake calipers in the same color. We're gonna do the subframes in the same color. I like it, man. I like it a lot. I'm gonna open up these and then we'll go out into the sunlight. That looks so freaking dope. Oh, it looks so good on camera, man. To my eye, it's just purple, but to you guys, I mean, I could see through my screen just the crazy colors that are in there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take this outside and, uh, and go see what it looks like. Okay. That looks freaking sick. And at this angle, it almost looks black. Very happy with it. Let me see here. It's like that midnight purple R33 we saw at Tom's house. Let me just open up the last piece and then uh, I think we'll just call this whole 
segment of wrap. Interesting little touch on this piece. I like it. I, I do like it a lot, man. You could see the 26 comes through almost in a weird kind of ghosty, uh, ghosty color. Maybe he powder coated and then took the RB26 off and then clear coated it, uh, which honestly looks pretty freaking dope. I like that a lot. To me, it just looks purple. But on camera, I get you can see the sheen of the light a lot more. And super excited about this color, man. Super excited about the way forward. Uh, Andrew, thank you for everything. It's been a long road, dude, and uh, and it's it's all good, dude. It's freaking all good, man. And I'm I'm thankful just for everything that you've done and you were able to do. And despite all the challenges and everything in the world, man. Just thank you very much for everything. I'm excited to move forward and get on with some other things. That said, uh, that wraps up uh, this piece from now, which in the future will be the past. Uh, and I guess we'll go back to whatever less disheveled BC was talking about. So yeah, super excited. I don't know if you could tell, that was quite a while ago. I'm excited for a lot of different reasons. Uh, since that video was shot, guys, I've been getting my focus back, making sure that my priorities in life are where I need them to be, focusing on myself, just getting where I want to be. And I've lost 20 pounds since that video, man, and I'm feeling great. I feel like I'm getting back to where I felt in my 30s which is awesome because nobody wants to feel like a sluggish old man and and quite frankly I was feeling that way yeah it's it's been awesome it's been really good so now here they are dude they are freaking immaculate I have already pressed in the dash 10 fittings for the oil separator inside I have installed the aftermarket baffle kit this is a replica of the mines baffle kit honestly can't remember the brand I'll make sure I put it there or here I was gonna do a video with me installing these with you but the day I decided to do this was a day I just needed some freaking zen and I came down here and I just took my time and did it I just needed to be with myself so that's what I did all the components are still here for the catch can I've got the catch can over here this is kind of really where I'm hung up because I can't install these until I install that and I can't install that until I figure out where to mount it and I can't figure out where to mount it without a lot of thinking man and and, it, and ultimately it's not going where I want it to go. So yeah, anyway, let's go out to the stage. Like I said, it's a nice day. I actually need to go do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So I figured we start the car up, go for a little bit of drive, just kind of close it out there. But I want to show you some of the things I've installed. Most notably, this is the old exhaust. There's a full new catback exhaust in there. It's a Fuji Subo, Fuji Subo, Fuji Subo, yes. That's it. That's fully installed. Uh, a couple little odds and ends. I've got the car running great. And guys, I've been driving the heck out of it. So yeah, let's go outside. It's pretty chilly out today, man. There was actually snow on the ground, I think early this morning. It snowed most of yesterday afternoon. Now you can see it's back to green grass. Uh, I think the frost just melted off the stage. Yet. It was iced over pretty bad this morning. Yeah, here she is, man, looking great. Super freaking dirty, like really dirty. You can't really tell, let's see here. Uh, it's got like that uh, burnt blue tip on it now, which kind of is gonna match those valve covers and just kind of tie it all together. I also installed this new to me grill. This is actually the non-turbo grill. I think it looks freaking fantastic. Turbo grill has the honeycomb mesh. It really just freaking brings a totally different vibe to the stage, yeah, man. I like it a lot. These things are really freaking hard to find. I think I, uh, I bought it through B Forward. The grill itself was super cheap but the shipping man the shipping was outrageous and that said that part ended up being super expensive it is what it is man i'm not I'm not too upset sometimes you got to pay a good price for good things the interior is finally and totally completely back together it's so much quieter in here now with the interior i'm just giving up on the sunroof for now because i just cannot source the new frame that i need to source as far as the roof rails and this stuff i don't like seeing it honestly i'm I'm waiting to take care of this until the time comes when we paint this entire car. I tried once upon a time to order these brand new factory fresh. Don't make them, don't exist, can't even get them from Japan, so that's irritating. But whatever, man, it, it is what it is. 
not much has really changed in here as far as me doing things. I did clean up the PCV system. I also re-ran the uh, vacuum hose for the fuel pressure. I also put a brand new gas cap on because I was just having a lot of stumbly, weird stalling issues. As soon as I put that gas cap on and I fixed my fuel pressure vacuum line, all that's gone, dude. And the car is so much more responsive. Additionally, I have a brand new oil line, a feed line for the turbo installed, which has a 90 degree elbow in it. And I installed a new fan clutch, considerably reduced the roar of the engine, which is really, really nice. But overall just been kind of maintaining this uh keeping it fresh and just like i said out here doing a lot of thinking the struggles i have with the catch can is that i really wanted to put it back here but it's just too deep especially with the drain cock on it i just can't do it and i am not going to remove my abs i've gone over and over and over and again the problem i have with the catch can is the depth i've looked at all kinds of different options the other issue is the clearance to the hood i have decided that I'm gonna mount it right here. So it will sit right here, side by side with the power steering, and then the lines will run this direction. There's already some threaded holes here that will hold those lines, and then they'll come back this way and go boop, boop, and into the valve covers there. So let's go ahead and fire it up, see what that new exhaust sounds like, man. I really like it a lot. It's quieter, but it's way throatier, like at idle and at normal driving, it's super quiet and mellow, but man, when you get on it, it, it sounds freaking dope. So let's fire this thing up. maybe do some revs and then uh, like I said I want to go for a drive but man she's running so smooth so smooth man like sorted absolutely sorted and like no crap she's getting she's getting amazing gas mileage man I've really been missing driving this car dude I haven't I haven't driven it in a few weeks now uh, one of the bad things, I guess, about living here in Germany, and I suppose anywhere that has inclement weather in the winter, is that they salt the roads really bad here. And uh, if there's one thing I know for sure, salt and a 25-year-old car, they don't, they don't like each other. They don't, they don't like each other at all. So I, I'm taking my normal test drive uh, road that I, I like to drive on. Should be a nice little drive. Oh, you can still see some snow out here bad but it's still snow and you know yeah still rocking the uh, pilot sport fours four s's on this car and uh yeah not the winter tires you want to be using so it's it's a day like today where i'm taking advantage of what i can when the roads are pretty dry So good. All right, I'll see you at the turnaround. I'm sure you can't see it, but I can. My window is covered in salt slurry, so I know it's still on the roads, and that's that's gross. Sweet spot, man. The car is nice and warm, and oh, let me share it with you. good so freaking good and the crazy thing too it's one piece one piece all the way from the cat to the tip uh, so that's probably why the shipping was so much ordered it straight from Japan uh, but yeah you, you can't put a price on good stuff I know she's dirty she's dingy it is winter time in fairness but man I'm really liking what's going on with the stage here right now. Like I said, I can't wait to get that better uh, oil separation going and that aesthetic of the valve covers and just the other things that are coming along with it. Guys, I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping, get some stuff in the mail, make sure it gets to my family members back in the United States. I just wanted to give you guys this little 
update video of how she's coming along. I know it's not the Z. I still love it. It's still awesome. I hope you enjoy it too, man. I probably won't see you again till after the holidays. So to all of you and yours, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and anything else that you celebrate. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Ciao a tutti and aloha. Bye-bye.